I'm Lauren Ash, and you're watching Celeb Secrets TV. So we're here at Entertainment Party for Comic-Con. Yeah. And what do you think makes Comic-Con so special, especially San Diego one? Because everyone, whenever you hear Comic-Con, you hear San Diego. I think it's the one that has, I don't know whether it's technically the biggest, but I think it's like the one that has the most history and the people are the most kind of excited and rabid to attend. It's been amazing. We did a, a panel for Superstore on Thursday that was standing room only. It's the greatest thing ever. You know, I come from a background in live theater. When you do live theater, you get an immediate response. People are laughing at you in the moment. But when you do TV, you don't have that. So getting to connect with fans who like really love the show, there's nothing better. We would not have jobs if those people didn't watch the show. So it feels really great to get to meet people and connect with them and thank them for watching the show. And let's talk a little bit about Superstore. Yeah. It's coming back in September. So September what, 26. What can fans expect? I don't know a lot. They haven't sent us, they haven't given us any scripts yet. Oh. <laughs> which is crazy because we go back to work in a week and a half. Uh, but my hope is just like 7 to 12 super hot love interest for Dina. Um, just, you know, baseball players, <laughs> MMA, martial artists, uh, maybe even a hot accountant, who knows? Uh, sky's the limit. Um, but I, I'm also really pushing to try and get to meet Dina's dad this season. I've been pushing online that would hopefully be Mark Hamill to play that role, so fingers crossed. I'll just keep putting it out there, like the secret. I love that. Yes. And we are still have secrets, so is there yeah. maybe a behind the scenes secret about the show that fans might not know? Oh, wow, okay. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm, I'm literally like editing in my brain. Like, can't say that. Can't say that. You can't. Uh, we sing. We okay. sing all the time. Like to the point that they call cut. America and I uh, improvise a dance, which you can see. There's like, if you Google like Superstore bloopers, there's like a whole dance sequence that we improvised <laughs> once. Um, but we're constantly singing, usually Drake uh, or Hamilton. And we one time had to shoot a promo, and it was with somebody who wasn't from our normal team. And he was like, I just want you guys to know there's no singing on my set. And I literally turned to him and I went, you're working with the wrong cast. Because, um, yeah, we, we will not stop. We will not stop. And there's so many good shows and movies here at Comic-Con. Yeah. Is there one specific that you've been, like, craving to watch or it has been your favorite this year? Supernatural is always my favorite. I am going to be waiting in line for that panel tomorrow morning. I am the biggest super fan. Two years ago at this party, I was at the bar, Misha Collins walked up, I, I, I choked and just, just silently raised my phone for a selfie. He was very gracious and I made a complete fool of myself. I love that. It's very true. And last season, how do we feel about it? And last season, Supernatural. Listen, I, I love it all. Like, I love them so much. My, I, I, I just think, you know, I was a huge X-Files fan and when that left, there was a void in my life. And I think Supernatural has filled that void in a way that, I don't want to say it supersedes it. I can't do that to the X-Files, but I just love the characters so much and I love the, you know, horror slash sci-fi elements so much. They can do no wrong for me.